of course, Q delta V So here's what that's saying. When you place a charge inside of a potential field, and that charge moves between two uh, equal potential surfaces, it's going to lose or gain potential energy, right? The potential energy it loses or gains is going to be equal to Q times the difference of the potential, right? So the, what should the units of this be? The units of that should be joules. If it's energy, it should be joules. So Coulomb times volts should give you joules. Now, does it? What was the volts? Remember, volts was an abbreviation for something. Vol uh, volts was. The original definition was electric field times dr, right? So it would be Newton per coulomb times meter. So if, if this is correct, if this is truly joules, then coulomb times volt should give you joules. So coulomb times Newton per coulomb times meter, coulomb, coulomb cancel. Newton meter and Newton meter is the definition of a joule. <laughs> so it all comes back. Okay, this is from physics one, right? So joule equals joule. So truly, if you multiply a unit of charge times the voltage difference, you get joule, okay? <clears throat> now, the potential, if you have, let's say, two charges, let's say back to this. I could, for, ex for example, uh, let's say the distance between this is equal to, what was it, six meters? I could say, what's the potential energy of this system, of these two charges? What's their potential energy? Now, notice they're not gaining or losing potential. They're just sitting there. They're just sitting there, right? They're not gaining or losing potential energy, but they still have potential energy uh, because the, each one has a potential, right? So the potential energy, let me sh show it to you this way. Um, yeah, so here's how we're going to say. The potential at uh, infinity minus the potential energy that they have at the distance of 1 is equal to uh, So in this case, let, let's, assume, let's assume, for example, that this is my uh, original charge, OK? And I want to find out the potential energy of this. So, so this, is, this is the one that is setting up the, the potentials, right? And then all of a sudden, this comes in, in that spot. What is its potential energy? So here's what I would do. I would say u, the delta u is u to infinity minus u that it has at that position is equal to its charge minus the potential of this at infinity minus the potential of this at that point, which is V1, right? That's how I would find the potential energy. So you had, uh, V at infinity is 0. U at infinity should also be 0, because just like we defined the potential at infinity to be 0, when two charges are infinitely far away, their potential energy is going to be 0, too. So this is going to be 0. And then the Q here is going to be negative 1 nanocoulomb, right? Times uh, negative V1. So notice what happens here. This one cancels this one. U1 is equal to negative. 1 nanocoulomb, and then V1 is what? It's the potential of this created at that point, right? Which is uh, K times Q1 over R1. So 
So we get uh, negative 1 nanocoulomb times 9 times 10 to the 9th times another 1 nanocoulomb over R1. So uh, this nanocoulomb cancels 10 to the 9th, and I have negative 9, another nano coulomb over, uh, well, actually, this one is coulomb squared. So let me just write it like this. This 10 to the 9th cancels one of the nanos, and then you have another nano that's left over, so that's 10 to the minus 9. And then R1 is the distance between them, which is 6 meters. Okay? So that's equal to 9 over 6 is 1 and a half, negative 1 and a half. And then this one I'm going to re-abbreviate as a nano, negative 1 and a half nanojoules. So the potential energy of this system in other words, here's another way you can say it. The potential energy of this charge in, in the potential set up by this, right? The potential energy that this guy has in the potential field set up by this is negative one and a half joule, nanojoules with respect to infinity, which we're setting to be zero. Zero joules, right? Now, could we use the other opposite argument? What if this guy sets up a potential here? What's the potential energy of this with respect to infinity? What would it be? Same. Negative 1.5 nanojoules. Same potential energy. So if you go through the argument, if I want to find the potential energy of this in the potential set up by that, what would change? So do that again. This is 0 again. This is 0 again. And then this would be negative u1. q would be what? q would be the, the charge of this, which is this time positive. And then the minus is the minus. And then the potential set up by this at that point would be, uh, again, uh, the, its charge is negative. So negative 1 nanocoulomb times uh, k, which is 10 to the ninth, over uh, 6. The sign should work out to be the same. The potential energy of one with respect to the other should be the same as the potential energy of the other with respect to the other. This is called the binding energy in chemistry. If I want to separate them, if I want to ionize this molecule, I have to put 1.5 nanojoules of energy to ionize it. So this is their binding energy. So let's see, does the sign work out? This negative cancels this negative. One of the negatives is left over. So u1, in other words, if we define this as u2, let's say, u2, where v2 is the potential, the potential set up by the second charge here, q2, OK? So uh, then I'm going to have here u1 is going to equal, uh, no, u2 is going to equal negative 1.5 nanojoules. OK? Maybe I should do it this way. Hold on. Let's see. If I want to be strict with the uh, symbols here. This is the potential energy of the discharge. So that's u2. The potential set up by this charge, v1. Yeah. That's how it's working. So this is U2. This is V1. This is U2. And then this one should be U1. The, it's the potential energy of the Q1. And then the V that I use is the V of, the, of this guy. And then so this is U1. Okay. If I want to be strict with the symbols, that's how it would work, right? The potential energy of this depends on the potential set up by that. The potential energy of that depends on the potential set up by that. So, but then overall, the idea is that their potential energy of U2 is negative one and a half, so it's the same. So this is called binding energy. Okay, so today we've established what potential is, how to find